back again for another reaction. So right now we're going to be checking out Meat Canyon. Um, this one is called My First Slumber Party. Story time. So I'm assuming from what I see on the thumbnail and what I see in front of me currently, um, it is Papa Meat telling us, a pre I'm pretty sure, in a very exaggerated story of his first slumber party. Or this could just be completely fictional. Who knows? But we're going to be seeing some over-the-top, uncomfortable shit. Why? Because it is Meat Canyon. So, without further ado, we are going to watch this together. Right now. Hello, I'm Meat Canyon. I thought I would take a break from the parodies for a moment and tell you all a story from my life. A little chapter out of my book called My First Slumber Party. I was eight years old. The sun was beginning to set and I was full of excitement for the night ahead. Me and my friend Luke had been hanging out for a couple hours playing video games and exchanging our collection of Pokemon cards. Luke's mother had a gorgeous smile offering us a never ending supply of banana slices for snacks. Here we go. It was a normal night. At least, so I thought. Time for bed! We have church in the morning, and we have to get up real early! An ocean of disappointment flooded over me. I was not aware this was a part of the plan. When I think about going to heaven, it makes me just so happy. I want to go there so bad. I want to see my grandma and my grandpa. My youth pastor says they're waiting for me. I'll race you to my room. What he the left fuck? me there alone to traverse the darkness of his house all by myself. Standing confused, I knew I had to push forward. Fuck. I wasn't going to be the weird kid sitting alone at a friend's house. I had far too much pride. <laughs> Luke's mother was at the sink washing dishes normally. But what caught my eye was the table. While giving us a never-ending supply Man, of cut-up bananas, Luke's mother recklessly put the banana peels all over the Pokemon cards. Most notably, my Blaziken card, which I was obsessed with, since he was my starter in Ruby. I caught her attention by saying, Hey, my dad paid a lot for these cards. She approached me with her beautiful smile. Would you like a snack before bed? I'm sorry for the tears. Mr. Roberts hasn't been acting normal lately. He's been... Luke's mother began to tremble talking about something, but I couldn't pay any attention. From the corner of my eye, I noticed something. Pizza rolls. A 40-count bag of combination pizza rolls. <laughs> Which was fucked because all she offered all night was cut-up bananas. It's like, if you have pizza rolls, why not just throw a couple in the oven for your guest? Let alone a child. But I digress. Hey, I'm up here! Come on! Come. It's time for prayer before bed. I can feel the tension and the suspense, and it's absolutely fucking killing me right now. Me, Canyon. May the fire of hell not burn on this night. Let, Let us rest peacefully with your, your grace, grace and your love. Amen. You missed our prayer. I hope you're able to sleep okay tonight. Fuck. I don't like this. Oh, that kid's gonna fucking creepily pop the fuck over. Ah, oh, fuck, yep. Hey. <laughs> do you want to play Donkey Konga? I didn't give an answer. I remained silent and still. Fuck, Suddenly, dude. I was blinded by the light from Luke's TV. And there he was, hitting the plastic bongo drums and His giggling to himself. His dad is fucking creepy, dude. But I noticed something. I noticed that the door was still cracked. And the father was still lingering, looking into the room, right at my eyes. You better fucking put he that banana down, son. He pulled out a banana son. and started to Bro. eat it. 
the Bro. slow rotation of his jaw grating like steel on steel, his eyes never blinking, only so staring, forever staring. And that's where my memory ends. And I have always been fascinated with religion and the afterlife ever since then. Though it leaves a sour taste in my mouth with a hint of banana. Take care, everyone. Good night, everybody. Bro. What the fuck was that? Can you please let me know down below if that was even a semi-true story? Because if it was, that was genuinely uncomfortable. Like, I mean, obviously, again, it's Meat Canyon, so it's definitely got to be way more exaggerated. But his art style and just the way he does things, the way that he explains things, and the way that he just tells a story visually... And the scores are always on point with the stories that he tells. And obviously his his voice acting is fucking magnificent. Um, it's just, he's so fucking creative. But at the same time, he's able to connect with your audience and make them feel super uncomfortable. Because, dude, like, that shit almost borderline gave me an anxiety, man, anxiety attack, man. <laughs> shit. Well... Again, typical Meat Canyon. Um, I obviously, whether, you know, or not, I was going to have a fucking meltdown watching this shit. It was fucking fantastic. Solid creativity. 10 out of 10. Popping Meat, Meat Canyon. You did it again. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will put the link to the original video down below in the description. Please, if you enjoyed this content, obviously hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell right next to it to be notified when another upload gets uploaded. And like always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, like always, be safe, take care, and I will see you later.